going to be a test of your competitiveness to see how ready the guys, the old guys are for this? Uh, definitely. Um, you know, I mean, obviously, we didn't make the NCAA tournament, but it's the, the second best thing. So if everybody comes to the right mindset and comes ready to compete, then uh, good things can happen. Your name, your name popped up on uh, the Draft Express uh, mock draft today. Is, is that just something that feels rewarding or feels like people are seeing, seeing what you're doing? I, I actually didn't know about that. Thank you for letting me know. But uh, <laughs> I guess it is rewarding, but at the same time, it doesn't mean anything unless you still work. And I still got lots of stuff to do. I still want to win with my teammates. I mean, everything is for them. Um, I, I, every, every individual goal I have is because of my team. So. I think it's, it is rewarding, but at the same time, I still, got, I still got more stuff to do. Did you ever run into Ryder when you were on the East Coast or any no, of the guys never, on that team? Never. I, I, maybe some guys. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the roster, but uh, maybe. But I've never. I heard about their team, and I know they're a good team, but I've never actually seen them play or actually played against them. So. Is that strange to get a team that you're basically, it's going to kind of be you guys against you almost, isn't it? Because you're not going to have a great scouting report on them? I, yeah, kind of, but I mean, I played in the NIT before, and it's kind of been the same way. You, know, I mean, you, know, you play against teams that you've never even heard of or, yeah. or teams that you've never seen, so that's kind of how it is. And, um, so at my old school, that's how teams felt about our team. Yeah. Uh, Illinois State, they never heard of us and stuff like that. So it's always a different experience. But. So what's Ryder's mentality going to be like? Uh, probably with the history of Oregon, they're probably going to come in here and try to you know, beat us bad because everybody wants to beat Oregon. Oregon is a great uh, Oregon, uh, program, so I, I think that they would want to come in here and win. So it's like we want to win. First few minutes of the game, then, like almost like a feeling out process of this guy can do this and this guy can do that. Definitely. You know, I mean, you got to kind of scout on the fly in that sense because you got to see who can do what and who their shooters are and stuff like that. And hopefully the coaches have done a great job of scouting. And uh, for the most part, to see where we can at least start from and stuff like that. Um, they, they won their, their conference uh, regular season, so I'm sure there's a lot of film that we can watch on them. To see. What can a team and like young players who might be returning next year gain from the experience of playing in the NIT? Uh, you know, I mean, people are going to still be working hard. It's the next step down from uh, NCAA tournament. And most teams that make runs in the NCAA tournament usually come from the NIT and have a good time in the NIT before they go to the NCAA tournament and make noise. So I remember Wichita State was one of them that actually won it. I think they won it. And then they came back the next year, and I think they made the Final Four. I don't know what, what the timeline was for that, but eventually they made the Final Four. And I was, it's just something you got to go through. And I mean, as young players, you still got more games to play, postseason. You're ready to go, so you gotta work on those longer threes. Yeah, I heard. I heard the new rules. It's 10 minute quarters. I mean, I get to rest a little bit now in between uh, the 10 minutes, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how, how the rules are. Uh, they always test out different rules with NIT. So who's gonna benefit the least on your team by the extended three point range? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I like shooting deep balls, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. So it'll be fun. Against the widening the lane for a forward like you, what's that gonna gonna change? Nothing, honestly. I, I, I'm not sure how it'll affect me at all. I played people before when I played with uh, Team Canada, and I honestly can't tell the difference. So we'll see.